gonna start by disconnecting the battery. It's very important to disconnect the battery before you do anything else so that it doesn't short circuit the motherboard or damage anything else. So you can flip the unit over and loosen up the bottom cover screws. Once the bottom cover screws are loosened, you can take your spudger and remove the bottom cover. Once the bottom cover is removed, you can just take the battery cable and unplug it from the motherboard. Now that the battery is disconnected, I'm just gonna place the bottom cover back on to avoid any scratches or damages to the inside parts. And then flip the unit over, open it up. And you wanna remove these two stickers at the bottom of the bezel. Now you can remove the screws at the bottom of the bezel. And then use your spudger to remove it. Now you can remove these screws at the bottom of the LCD. And then to remove the LCD, you just want to slide down and then use your spudger at the top to get it out. Flip it over and disconnect the LCD cable from the LCD. and from the sensor board and the PCB board. And then you can take off this sticker over the camera. remove your LCD. Now you can take your new LCD and start by flipping it over and reconnecting the LCD cable. Connect it to the bottom of the LCD. it to the PCB board and the sensor board. And then you can carefully put the camera back in. Put the sticker back over to hold it down. And then you can take the LCD and put it back into the top cover. Put the screws back in the LCD. And then you can take your bezel Put your bezel back on. Put 
the screws back into the bezel. And put the stickers back over the screws. Close the unit, and flip it over, and remove the bottom cover. Now that the replacement is done, we can reconnect the battery to the motherboard. And then you want to put the bottom cover back on. And tighten the screws in the bottom cover. Once all the screws are tightened, then you can flip the unit over and open it up. Plug in your AC adapter and hit the power button on the side. And if the screen turns on, then that means the replacement was successful. And if you would like to check to see if the battery is working, you could just unplug the AC adapter. And if the unit stays on, then the battery is working. So now you can just shut the unit down.